Hello beautiful ones. I'm continuing my talk on the twos. I feel like the month of March is really about the lessons of the High Priestess, among other things, but the energy of the High Priestess, and I've talked a lot about her and her inner knowing, her coming in. She's she's moved through the cards of uh, the, she's started out as the fool with all the lessons that she's going to learn in her little knapsack, and then she's come into um, the understanding of I am the magician and now here she is where she's like I you know I believe I'm coming into a place of understanding what I believe and I'm resting in that there's a real understanding there she's in her power she's really comfortable you know she's not frightened nothing's pushing her nothing's moving her she is moving her world she's created a sacred space that she's inhabiting she's honoring that honoring herself she's got her little playbook there and um, that is the energy that we're we're in in the month of March is really getting to know ourselves and what we believe as an expression of who we are because as we move through all the lessons that the tarot has for us and all the energies that we go through in our life we have to know what we believe and who we are and we need to know how to be in a place of our personal power so now we're moving into the two of pentacles and again i have two decks here the everyday witch tarot which i've been playing with a lot and um i have the um druidcraft deck which is what you're seeing the high priestess with so again twos are about balance right whenever we have a two we know that we're learning about balance and you can see that infinity sign up there, which gives us a lot of space. I think this month really is about tapping into infinity, talking to our guides, understanding that we are infinite beings, that we can go within at any time in that power, our personal power. Remember when we're looking at the tarot, we are not separating the, the lessons of the twos are seen in the high priestess so the pip cards as we call them the minor arcana right here and you know here she has a seared balance on that teeter-totter she's doing a great job again lots of possibilities in the background um also the pentacles here are um a female energy which goes along well with the high priestess and pentacles is People think of it as money, um, you know, and provision and all those things. But it's also about hiddenness. It's about um, the earth and what the earth has. And there is a mystery to the earth. When we put a seed in the earth, it's covered in dark. And that potential is there. And there's everything that needs to be there is inside the seed. And but we don't see it. We don't know. We, we trust that what we've planted can come up. And so it really is about a time. It really is a time of going within right now this month and capitalizing on that. And because the pentacles energy is about getting grounded, we should always be getting grounded. You know, we should always be coming into a place of being grounded so that we feel like we're standing on solid ground and we're safe. Um, and I think safety is something that's really exemplified in this card in the Druid craft. You see her, it's stormy in the background there, but she's in a little safe harbor right there. And she's doing this balancing act with the pentacles right there. And I think it's important to note this, that this two energy, the two of pentacles is about feeling protected, being in a safe space and really working with those energies and as we apply that to what we see in the lessons of the high priestess again it's about it's about knowing it's about knowing what comes up comes down it's about knowing about um, earthly interaction it's about um, knowing who we are and putting into practice who we are in everyday life you know i love in this one here again that it has the ocean in the background because there's so much potential in the twos. We've we've left the realm of whoop, we've left the realm of the um, aces, which is total potential, and now we've kind of divided it up, and we have some choices going on here. And again, the choice of the two of swords, right? What what am I going to do? How am I going to use the knowledge, the inner knowledge that I have as the high priestess, 
in my sacred space, in the place that I've made within myself, how do I use that energy to make wise decisions when I come to a fork in the road? Um, the Two of Wands, the power of the wands, which is that creative energy, that potential of what it is that I'm going to be birthing and doing from the core of who I am. Again, the Two of Wands is emotive. It moves us. And yet there is a waiting in the twos. It's not quite, not quite manifested yet. We've just pulled the potential apart in order to make a decision and move forward on it. In the cups, we had that synergistic energy of getting to know ourselves and being infatuated with that and really having that intense emotive feeling. You know, now I'm feeling that's all the nuances of who I am and learning that. And here in the in the pentacles, we have a chance to get grounded. We have a chance to know our own hiddenness. We have a chance to know that we are eternal and to tap into that. We have a chance to hold those possibilities in our hand and balance them perfectly. This is an amazing card. So the energies of the twos this month, I really feel like this is a month where we're getting to know ourselves and that getting to know our nuanced self, getting to know how to choose, getting to know how to be, getting to know what we want to create, it's really important for the rest of the year. Don't skip this time because as we move into April, energies are gonna open up and you're gonna need all of this inward knowledge that you have acquired. Just wanna remind you today that everything you do, every time you make a choice or you plant a seed, that you are doing the work of being on your ascension path and raising the vibration of this planet, bringing all of us in a better place to be. Thanks for being you. Thanks for taking the time to think about what it means for you to be your authentic self. It really is about you being you. You don't have to be anybody else. You don't have to be me. You don't have to be the person next door. You don't have to be the best mom in the world. You get to be you at your core and understanding that is about harnessing these energies this month. Please subscribe or follow me and let me know what you think. I just again send a blessing out to you over your day and your week that you find the space, the hiddenness, the sacred space to be alone with yourself and to be in a place where you feel safe enough to trust that vision that you're getting of who you are in your higher self.